Hey everyone, guess what day it is? We're celebrating World Photography Day. And I thought, why don't I show you some of the things I've taken pictures of? Let's have a mind break and enjoy something original and let me know what you think in the comments below. Venus here, and this is kind of my director's cut. <laughs> so, just taking a look at the pictures, that's a Roman turtle. And I found him just lying there by himself. He crawled up while uh, we were in some Roman ruins, and he's a, still a Roman citizen there. That's the first university in France built by the Romans, or the orchards left behind. And these are some French ducks in Versailles. <laughs> This is uh, clam digging with some hunters up in Nineveh, the Arctic Circle, and polar bear that I took these photographs myself. I was one block away from him with my camera, and the hunter was right beside me, jammed in front of my shoulder in case he ran. They smell the air and decide whether or not you're a threat, and he decided to go back to sleep. <laughs> These are two sun dogs flanking a sun, so it was like a natural flag in the air. The sun dogs were rainbows, and here's more rainbows that I caught inside these water fountains. I never saw a statue of a man holding a baby, so I really wanted to remember that. And just some beautiful landscapes in Versailles. This is, uh, love that alligator crocodile statue and all the archways. This is, uh, uh, the Tra Trajan, Emperor Trajan, so it was when Rome expanded into France. He'd have his night parties here. Love the palm trees in Rome. And I was heading off towards the Borgias, um, one of their grounds. And this tree is over 800 years old, so I had to hug it. And here we're on the gorgeous property. <coughs> different alleyways had different things to set them apart. Love the flag colors. It was lost in Paris, but I could see the Eiffel Tower from anywhere. Rome's made it to France, and so this is some of their armor that's been coated and put across the gate. And now we're back up in Trajan territory. I love that all the trees he planted and all the olive groves are still growing there, all the cypress. It's just breathtaking. This is real medieval church in France. Now we're back in Rome with the Colosseum. I used to live near the Colosseum on Rose Hill. A lot of actors are there now these days. <coughs> and I bet you never saw how people actually use their shields to protect themselves from flying arrows or the spears. <laughs> But yeah, France uh, still has the Roman Games the first weekend in May every year. And now we're back in Rome for Cinecitta and the elephant sculptures. I just loved them. Um, they were the tank of their day. Now we have fish and um, the merman triton blowing his water through a conch shell um, was to represent back in the day that man conquered nature. And here are our unicorns. Found a lot of French tapestries and coat of arms. A very lucky animal for them. And I just had to prove I had seen a unicorn. Winged Victory and Modern International, meeting place behind it. Then I just was struck by the two paths. Which one will you choose? A sinkhole in Mexico with a grotto with blind fish swimming in it. And T Rexes all over the world. <laughs> The faces on the corners of building in the Aztec ancient ruins. And a fox, because I just didn't know if you've ever seen one. Here's a red fox. Kind of like, I love their fluffy tails, but make no mistake, puppies go missing. So you have to keep your dogs in when wolves and foxes and things are about. <laughs> They'll seem playful, but uh, you'll see nothing but a collar and fur left behind if you don't bring your dogs in at night. He just wanted a snack. I also love taking lots of close-ups of flowers and commemorating them. This was a three theme on crawling through the grasses. I hope you've enjoyed. I love these. I grow these in my garden. And I don't know why we're interrupting. <laughs> <laughs>